Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a returning subscriber, you're welcome. And if you're watching this video right now, please just take a second to subscribe. So today we're going to be saying about GitHub and uh, we'll be talking about GitHub commit verifications using SSH keys. So it's very important to take note that uh, while trying to commit on GitHub, uh, your account need to be verified like the person doing the commit need to be verified so anyone is able to to commit to your repository as long as they have your repository uh, url as long as they can guess your email and your name and then they'll be able to to commit or do changes to your repository on github but uh recently github now accepts SSH keys uh, for Git commit verification. So I'm going to show you an example of a Git commit verification that is not verified. Okay. Now, we are in my GitHub. Uh, if you notice now, this uh, there was a commit done on, on September 18, and this commit was done by me. And this commit is unverified. This commit is unverified. So this commit is unverified. So you can have a lot of commits. And as long as uh, they can get your name, your email, and to get your repository URL is easy, and they'll just commit. So you should be very uh, careful and you should pay key attention on how we are going to do this. You need to be vigilant. It's a best practice and it's a security practice. So GitHub now makes the commit tag verified or partially verified. So when when someone verify, when a verified user commits, you will notice that here it will be showing verified. You should take note. If you if you commit and you're getting unverified then this video is for you. You should take note of that. So I'm going to show you how to use the SSH key. Okay, now let's uh, dive into the video. So the first thing you will do is, you need to turn on vigilant mode, where we enable displacing verification status for all Git commit. So how do we turn on vigilant mode? So first you navigate to your settings, on your profile, uh, navigate to your settings. On your settings, you go to SSH and GPG keys. And below, you tick vigilant mode. So this is vigilant mode. I'm going to tick, I just tick vigilant mode now. You tick the vigilant mode. So when you have ticked the vigilant mode, now you'll be able to, to see if when anyone commits or when you commit, you, you'll be able to see if it's verified or it's not verified. Just like now, this commit isn't verified. Okay, so that's the first step when you have ticked that vigilant mode. Now you need to create an SSH signing key. So who will enable SSH commit verification. So any other future commits will be signed in and shown as verified. So take note of that. That is the first step. So now you, you, you open your terminal, whatever terminal you're working on, you open your terminal. So I'm working on the VS code. So this is my terminal. And uh, on this terminal, I just made it made a directory. I just made a directory. Let me scroll this down. Okay, this is my normal PowerShell, right? And I I made a directory called Project. On the project, we get a Git demo that I also made. So you can you can use your normal. Uh, Linux system or your normal Windows system. 
And again, please take note, this video is for users using a Windows computer. Okay. This is for users using a Windows computer. So I was working on a project. So you can just make any directory and you can add some content. Like here, I'm just going to edit uh, the project I was working on. And uh, now I'm just going to do git status. And when I do git status, I notice that there are some files that uh, have been modified. Okay. So before going through the process to clone a repository or to add a repository and uh, initializing, and also take note at initialize the repository, right? And initialize this repository. The first command you should do when you create or uh, when you make a directory is to, to initialize that repository. So at initialize this repository and at uh, added some content in the repository as well in the in the, in the uh, directory that I made. I added some content as you can see. I added some content and now I was doing git status and you can see there are some file that files that. Uh, as seen in the working environment. And uh, I'll just do git add dot. Okay, now they are moved from the working environment to the staging environment. So I'll do git status. Now you notice that they have been moved to the staging environment. So now we want to commit these changes and push, but then we want to make sure that when we push, it shows verified let me go back to github want to make sure that when we push it shows push by verified user push by verified user so go back there okay and now we're going to run the command i'm going to to uh drop this command in the comment section i'm going to drop all these commands in the in the comment section and sss command <clears throat> so now this is the first command we're going to run. So you need to put your GitHub email. So you need to put your GitHub email and then SSS key that's T. So when, when, when you run this command, it's going to generate uh, an SSS key and that's generating. So it's going to generate the the, the, the key in uh, my environment, in my uh, folder, my user, or my Windows computer. And uh, you just press enter. It says exists on the right. Okay, so this key has been generated. This key has been generated. So that was the first thing we had to do. I just generated. Uh, that key using that command, I can go back to the command and highlight the command for you. So you can see that's the command I just highlighted. So now we are only interested in the .pub file as that contains our public key. So the next thing we need to do now is to open that .pub file and copy the entire content of that file. So when we copy it, when we have we have to open this this dot pop file. Like, if you notice what was created, uh, this is dot pop file that was created. Let me highlight that to you. Just see, this is dot pop file that was created. Dot pop file. Okay. So I have to copy the content of this key. I'm going to click uh, on my name. Your computer I should get this. It's on dot ssh. You can just click on your local disk. Look and see disks. You click on your name. If you set a user. Mine is dot ssh. It's found in dot ssh. You click on dot ssh, and now we get the the key. Okay, I'm going to open this key. I'm going to use notepad. Always. Now this is the content of the key. Now copy everything that is in this key, and now when we copy, please take note. When you copy, the next thing you do is you go to your settings. Go back to GitHub on your profile, you click on settings. On settings, we'll go to SSH and GP keys, GPG keys. You click on new key. As you can see, I have no key. 
Now, I'll just give this key signing key. And now take note on this part, the, the key type has to be signing key. And what do you do next? You paste here. This uh, should be down. You paste it and you add the key. Okay. You have successfully added the key, the signing key. Immediately you add the signing key, you're going to get a notification in your GitHub that the signing key has been added successfully. Okay. So now uh, let me go back. Okay, so now if you remember we had initialized with this repository, we had added content and uh, we had pushed the files to the staging area, but uh, we had not yet committed, committed, right? All right, so uh, before doing all of this, I've, I've added uh, my GitHub repository. So I'll consider that you can add the GitHub repository. If I do git, uh, git remote, V. So that's the repository I added before. So to add the repository, you can just do git remote add maybe uh, origin and you just add the repository link. Okay, let me just add again the same repository for the purpose of this video. I'm just going to add back the same repository. But then before watching this video, you should know, you should have known how to copy this repository. So that's the repository. Okay, did remote add origin. Okay, it says remote origin already exists. So when you add, it's going to show you added, right? It's going to show you added. And when you do git remote dash V, you will get that repository. You get that repository. So, okay, the next thing we need to do now is uh, to move, to, to, to commit these changes, right? We need to commit these changes. So I'm just going to do git commit dash n. Uh, what's my commit message? I can, I can just say uh, first, first, and now it has been committed successfully. One file change, one is the section. So it has been committed successfully with no issues. So what's the next thing uh, uh, we have to do now? We want to push right. So remember our branch is the main branch. If I do git branch, we're working on the main branch. So you might be working on the dev branch, right? Git branch. Okay, sorry, git push dash u dash u origin origin main. Okay, so now we have push. If you notice, we have push successfully. We have push successfully, meaning we're authenticating it, right? So we have push successfully. Now let's uh, let's go and check uh, if uh, these changes took place. If we now get verified, uh, or if we are not verified. So let's check. I'll click back. This was the repository we copied. So I'll just refresh this page. Now it's um, two commits uh, done recently. One minute. Now, can you see that? The commit that was done one minute ago. Can you see that? It's verified. So it's verified. You can see the previous commit that was done. It was unverified. So take note, this is a very simple step on a very simple step on how to uh, uh, do your GitHub commit verification using SSH keys. So it's a very secure stage and uh, it's a very simple stage for you to follow. But then uh, if it is your first time committing, uh, you will need to configure your username. Let me show you that. 
you need to configure a username like for example so the system can know uh, who is who is committing the changes git config config user dot email user config dot email and you just put your email because your system are actual who are you so if your system actual such question this is the step to follow to enter the next I run back the command uh now instead of email I'll put a uh, Username Username, what's your username? You can put your GitHub username. Enter. Uh, and the next thing you're going to do, this is very important for everyone to follow. And the next thing you're going to do is to uh to also add that SSH where your, your 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 key is found so your system can read from it git config user dot sign in key dot sign in key and now take note of this part you need to copy the path the exact part where your key is found now see something this is where my key is found in my computer. Right? So copy this part. Copy this part. I will copy this part. You enter, it's gone. And now you need to do git config. Commit. G, PG sign. To you enter, git com, git commit, gpg sign true, and git configure commit sign in format git config gpg dot format format ssh, and that's it, and that's it. So when you do that now, you're able to push with relative ease. So guys, if you like this video, please kindly subscribe. Our account is verified. If you, if you follow all these stages, uh, you're going to uh, be able to, to, to commit. And it's going to show same like verified, you no know, issues. Please uh, kindly subscribe to this video. And see you next time and see you in my next video.